Hello everyone. So I am Asif Ali, and today I will uh, create a cloud simulation effect in uh, Unreal Engine Niagara. Niagara is new particle system in Unreal Engine that will uh, replace the cascade. And so this is just a basic tutorial for uh, Niagara, and let's just start it. So I have this texture and this is smoke sub UV and I didn't create this. This is default smoke sub UV that comes with Unreal Engine starter content. So when you will create a new project with starter content, you will get this texture. So I will use this, you can create your own. So I had this. So first of all, you have to go to plugins and go to FX and check in your Niagara plugin here and then restart Unreal Engine and then you will get this FX and these Niagara parameters here. So first of all I will create a Niagara emitter then I will create a Niagara system what is different in these two. So if you open this Niagara emitter you will get these particles and you can't just drop it to the viewport and if you open the system you don't have anything but you can drop it into the viewport so once I will finish my cloud in this emitter I will put this emitter in my system then I will put this system into my viewport so I will rename it cloud emitter cloud system first of all I need a material so I will just get M cloud so drag this texture in my material here use translate and right click particle color M press with in keyboard and click left mouse click so you will get this multiply or you can just type multiply here so color multiply with color connect to base color and MC also and again a multiply take alpha from this texture pass it in so you have this sub UV here, just save it, very basic material and close it. Open your cloud emitter, you have these particles. So first of all, if you are not familiar with Niagara, I will just quickly show you the parameters. So like cascade it has first of all the emitter life cycle duration then spawn how much you want to spawn rate there is velocity location is emitting from a tiny sphere here and then particle life particle rotation then size here is acceleration there is negative that is gravity here then color and here is material so by default it has sprite material so I will just select this cloud here and use my cloud here so my cloud was 8 by 8 1 2 3 if you see it is 8 by 8 so in here here is my sub UV image I will do it 8 by 8 and I want binding blending enable okay so it's using frame but it's not animating this sub UV for animation first of all I will just decrease my velocity these are not going upward 
and has not and waiting I want black background so just go to preview setting here and so that's it now I want to animate my sub UV for this go to your particle update spawn and particle update it here on the plus icon click and type sub UV you will get this particle sub UV index here is the frame number 0 I can change so it will use that one frame so I want animating my frames for this I will convert this parameter to a curve float from curve now I have this curve I want my first key at 0 and frame will be 0 and I want my second key at 1 time and value will be 64 because it's 8 by 8 so 64 now I hope it's animating I'll just increase size oops this is rotation where size size yes it's animating you can see the smoke is scrolling here so it's animating and I will use rotation minus 1 and 1 so this is I have now this is smoke and instead of this sphere location I will delete it and I will add a location from slender so I have this slender and I want my radius big and my height maybe much and I will increase my spawn rate like thousand if I want to sh check this in viewport I can't drop it here so I will open my cloud system it's blank so I will add this track cloud emitter here is my cloud now I'll save it compile it and drop it in viewport so this is my class system this texture is cutting from ground so in material take a daffid <coughs> sorry guys so multiply it with opacity it's fading and an emitter I want my spawn rate like 2000 and this slender radius bigger and particle size I want to increase to 400 and 100 and one more thing velocity I will not change I will change acceleration A bit more velocity and I want change it on one axis it's not updating here so I have to save it compile it now it's updating and it's looking nice
is going upward too much red then save compile now it's looking good so i have this cloud here i want some lights in it for that save it and for the lights i will just do i want i don't want to do it all again so i will just duplicate my cloud emitter and name it lights then i open this it has this cloud simulation so i will just change the material for this i will change the radial radial ramp and remove the sub uv here and also do you need to remove the sub uv curve here so you have just these and increase the spawn rate and size now you have this sphere you can change the color like blue so these are blue and save it in cloud system i will add this lights and here is my lights but these are not emitting light actually for this in my lights in my render i will add the light render properties and i will get this increase the radius save is too much bright so in my system i can change the emitter property just select this emitter these are blue i want red when the end changing but i don't want acceleration them upward and seventy-five not upward a little bit and i want my slender radius decrease and then i will increase the amount of spreading so these are now spreading and changing color <coughs> save compile and i will increase the life not life increase the so velocity so this is spreading from the center looking cool blue in center and red and one more thing these are just pop out and so i will put this here 
Now they are fading out. Looks cool. I just full screen. It looks cool. Just put the camera here, and you can see my cloud simulation that looks very beautiful. You can add more color in it. You want the starting maybe yellowish middle you can play with it. I will just delete it for now. It's blue. So this is my cloud simulation and if I just rotate it this angle they are now going other side and it's still looking cool. So you can create your own cloud now. I hope you learned the basic of Niagara. I will keep making more tutorials on Niagara. And if you have any query, just comment below. If you didn't un didn't understand something with in this tutorial. And thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel and keep learning.